What's up guys? Unruly Biker here. I uh, got some new tires on the 124 Dyna. Decided to go with the uh, Dunlop Roadmaster or Road Smart 3, excuse me. And uh, I stepped up in size. I went with a 170 in the rear. And uh, I went with a 120 in front. So, uh, a little bit wider, probably not recommended for this, uh, this size wheel, but I know a few people have done it and really liked it over, uh, the hundred in front and how it tracks and grabs all the, the lines in the road. <clears throat> so, uh, here's the deal. Still having a bad death wobble, speed wobble, uh, above 70 mile per hour. Um, so bad that uh, I haven't ridden in almost a month. Uh, since my last video, I rode a couple days after that and had a worse speed wobble. Um, I need to edit the whole video and get it, get it uploaded. But um, it was bad enough that I haven't ridden this since. Uh, I bought all the proper tools to, uh, <laughs> to go through and and supposedly balance this thing out, level it out, not balance it, but, but center, center the, uh, the engine in the frame properly, true it. Um, so what I, what I was told to get was a laser level like this, a digital laser level and a digital angle finder, finder. And, uh, that is it there. And, uh, basically you run the angle the uh, level across the back of the bike i'll go ahead and show you here what i did take this lucky dave seat off okay should have had this already set up but no big deal all right so I set the level ac across the back of the bike right here. I, uh, I put another jack up under here, okay? And uh, I leveled the bike until it is zeroed out on the gauge, all right? When it zeroed out on the gauge, mind you, the rear, rear wheel and everything is off the ground. So this entire thing is, is, is supported by just the frame and the rubber mounts. Um, I took the angle finder and I had it here. Okay. I also tried it here on the swing arm as well as here on the, uh, the top of the disc and here in the bottom of the disc. All right, and uh, it was off. So I went and started adjusting this link up in here, right? And uh, till it got to where it zeroed out with this. So this showed 90 and this showed zero. So at that point you would figure it would be true. Uh, took it out for a ride and uh, still a death wobble. So. So there's something more going on to this uh, to this puzzle. This seems to have, have started occurring whenever I swapped wheels. So I'm wondering if it has something to do with the uh, bearings and spacers, possibly the spacing. Um, look at my old Dyna here. The the wheel and tire is pretty much centered in the fender and the swing arm. We come up here and look at the new Dyna and you can tell right away that <laughs> the, uh, the wheel and tire are dramatically over to the left in comparison. So that might be an issue, um, probably part of the issue. Um, of course I do have upgraded front and rear motor mounts. Um, 
They are the Big Bear style. Um, I previously had Big Bear mounts on my last bike. It was totaled out. Um, these are the Chopper House Chopper House mounts. They're the pretty much exact, the same design. They're not adjustable, so that might be an issue as well. Um, I know the factory setup is not adjustable, but here's the deal. I'm gonna be taking this bike to Utah here in a few days to Cycle Tech Industries, and uh, they have some equipment from Rack and Pool Industries, and uh, he's gonna get this thing, tr you know, straight and true. And uh, we're just we're gonna go from there. I'll uh, try to get some video footage along the way. It's a 15-hour drive for me. I'm gonna trailer the bike. I'm not gonna risk riding it there and anything that could happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and trailer the bike uh, to Hurricane Utah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are officially on the road to our trip to Utah to get this thing in an engine and swing arm alignment. Let's hope we have a good, safe trip. Alrighty. Appreciate you, Brandon. Let me borrow this truck. Chris, let me borrow the trailer. <laughs> and our first gas bill, 45. It's about seven o'clock here at uh, Klein's Corners, New Mexico. Almost to my halfway point, which is uh, Albuquerque. So uh, hopefully it won't be too much longer. So yeah, we're in uh, Hurricane Utah tomorrow. I'm uh, getting my uh, engine alignment done. So let's hope we can get it trued and get it all corrected. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for a little ride and take a look around town and just kind of get used to, uh, kind of get used to the area. See what I think about it.
town is beautiful, man. Food. Mm -hmm. 